last year X open sourced the algorithm. In this video, I want to go over three major things that I learned after in-depth research. And then at the end, I want to go over how you can apply them to your own growth. So today I'm presenting the X algorithm explained. Today I'm going to go through very quickly why your profile is bad, how the for you page works, niches visualized and how you apply this. The first step is why your profile is bad. Why do some tweets do better? I'm sure Anyone that's posted has probably saw someone's tweet and think if I posted that, it probably wouldn't get the same engagement. So this is an example here. You're not crazy. There is some truth to this. There's something called tweet cred, and it's basically a reputation scoring system for X. It's very similar to Google PageRank and it kind of works like this. It evaluates your page based on account metrics such as age, followers, device usage, your follower ratio, who you interact with, if you do any sensitive topics, how often you post and other stuff. And it provides a score from zero to a hundred to sort of highlight how much it's going to push your content. This is an example. So if I was to post it and I had citizen talks post, low credibility, a really bad following score, account made last month, the same tweet might not get many views. But then if this guy has a lot better on these scores, it's probably going to get it pushed out a lot more. As a side note, Elon Musk actually said it might be removed soon. And another side, side note is actually being verified helps your account also. So there are some instances where it actually boosts your account by 4x if you're in the same network and a 2x if, uh, if you're not. So this is how the For You page works. So this is part two. When you make a post, it kind of goes in three steps. Knowing you've got a tweet cred score, so you're going to post a video to X. X is going to distribute it to a sample audience. In my experience, it's usually around 100, but I'm guessing it depends on your followers. And then it's going to have that small sample audience give feedback let's say our sample audience is of three one user says it doesn't care about me at all it did not engage minus one point one user said okay they loved it they replied and liked it that's plus 10 points and then one of them really really didn't like it at all they blocked and muted me that's minus 100 points based on this scoring system from the sample audience x gets this and it says okay we've tested this out with three people people don't really like this content let's not re recommend it to to any people actually in the area room it actually tells you which user actions actually mean more weight so as you can see a like really isn't that important a retweet kind of the same thing but actually like clicking into the tweet and replying that's 11 checking out your profile and replying is 12 replying to your tweet is 27 and then replying to, to your tweet and, and we engage with reply 75 but then as you see as well if people say show less and less often or block you that is massively bad minus 369 so just to kind of put this in perspective if someone replies to our tweet that's 54x more than a like if someone replies to a tweet and we respond that's 150 more than a like if they report us that's 738 less than a like and just as a side note of this is actually tweets only have a life of around 360 minutes so um every six hours the relevancy of the tweet is going to be decreased by around 50 percent so part three this is niches visualized to say this is all the different content in the algorithm so you've got gaming software development trading marketing cooking etc i'm gonna zoom in to a gaming and software development okay so i'm gonna go here so these are all these sub niches i call them inside of a software and gaming so as you see fortnite's on this end ai research on this end and then kind of in between you kind of have game development and back end from into the circle to out the circle these are like these sort of expert videos and posts these are the sort of beginner level ones and let's say i want to make a tweet and i'm used to tweeting around ai agents so it's going to go somewhere around here X is going to sort of recommend it to other people kind of close to that niche. So it might try it out with some people that said they're interested in research, might try it out with some people that's uh, a little bit more expert, might try it out to back end people. They love it. So I get plus score on that tweet. The back end, it's like they're, um, they're okay with it. So X is giving the feedback to say that these kind of people tend to like my content. Let's say now I do a tweet on a gaming news as my second post, it's going to show that content to the same people, even though if I posted it on a brand new account, it might be given to people that might be interested in gaming, but because it's not on this account, they're all going to hate it. So it's going to give me minus like 2000 points or um, however it works. This is just to say you need to stay in your lanes somewhat. You shouldn't be posting across different niches because it's usually going to try and recommend it to the same people. So part four, how do we actually apply this? So a growing a business account means everyone needs to, uh, to help. As you can see, a like does not really mean that much at all. A reply, a share, 
and a save within the first 360 minutes of the main account posting is really, really important. This is what we should be aiming to do. The second part is avoiding sensitive topics. So if you are creating content, you shouldn't really be posting about anything to do with politics, controversial. I'm not saying it will, but just really trying to avoid it. We need to focus on formats that get higher points. So for example, the long form tweets do really well because they encourage higher watch time and saves. Other things are like open discussions are good, like looking for ideas, what ML software, what projects are you currently working on. This is really good for our farming replies. Memes are pretty good because they farm shares and saves, um, as you see here. The last thing I'd say is really try and niche down if you're doing personal content. You should not be confusing the algorithm by sending out your content to too many different types of people. You should build a really strong, tight-knit community. But all of this has a massive caveat as X day by day is looking more like the TikTok algorithm where it judges your content independently. So please try and experiment with all these and let me know if you think these topics are still relevant in 2024. As we've learned, if you want to boost this video, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And sign up to my newsletter if you want to build AI systems for growth.